This is Chuck for a quick one. They say that the raven are the eyes of the hairy man, and this guy's been hanging around our camp now for about an hour. Uh, Rob left him a few barbecue potato chips down there, and he seems like he really liked that. So, and he's sitting down there kind of waiting for him. But uh, they've been, he's been kind of hanging around the camp for most of the day, so not sure whether he's, uh, maybe he's the, the drone keeping eyes on us or what the deal might be, but uh, kind of interesting that he's hanging around here, so I'll let you go talk to you later. Well, good afternoon, YouTube. This is Chuck. It's uh, day two of our little visit to Crazy Town. And you're looking at down the creek there a little bit, and all those bushes on either side of the creek are actually uh, berry bushes. And uh, later on, they'll grow up to be about six feet tall, but right now they're kind of all matted down. They haven't bounced back from the winter yet. Let me pan, pan over here. There's the van. Let me get back around where I can talk to you. Well, last night, uh, Rob came in last night as well, so there's actually six of us here last night, and, and Kevin and Chris and uh, Wayne, they had decided they needed to go back to town today, so there's three of us here now, and uh, last night we had kind of something kind of interesting I'm going to tell you about, but let me, uh, we're going to walk back around, the, walk up there by the other end of the camp. Little creek here is really pretty. You can probably hear the noise it makes. It's just a real soothing, relaxing atmosphere. Rob just came up for a couple of nights, and so he just set up his set up his uh, bed right in the back of his truck and sleeping out in the open. It's not supposed to rain. That tent belongs to Paul, and there's Paul's truck. This is a pretty little spot. It's starting to green up. The grass is looking nice. Up here's, up here's where we generally sit. Here we got. That was a surprise for him. You got Rob. Say hello, Rob. Bonjour. Bonjour. And Paul's here. How are you doing? This is Paul's first trip out with us, and we haven't had some of the activity that we normally have. But we had some funny things happen last night. I'm going to tell you about. Uh, we were sitting over here, where these chairs are, and we were kind of facing up the hill. And we actually had some orbs come on down the hill. And uh, where they were at, three of us could see them. We didn't have a lot of activity. We've had some really spectacular things that happened here. But last night, the activity was a little bit more mellow than it usually is. Uh, we don't know if it's because it was uh, too many of us. or There's other campers down the way a little bit, so maybe that had something to do with it. But one funny thing that happened, it was getting real dark, dark. The moon hadn't come up yet. And we heard a rustling in Paul's tent. So Kevin and Paul went over there to take a look. And what had happened is, is that Paul had left his door unzipped and one of the local skunks had made it into his tent and got into some of his food. Well, we've had skunk issues here before. Uh, fortunately, none of us have ever been sprayed. But uh, the guy's trying to figure out how to get the skunk out of there without aggravating the skunk. And they they managed to do that, and the skunk ran around this side of this side over here, and then ran back that little pathway that you see back over there by that log, and took off. But he got into Paul's oatmeal, and as we said, fortunately it didn't spray. Now I've told you in other videos. Let me spin you back around here again. I've told you in other videos that the uh, the Apaches talk about. Uh, that the raven are the eyes of the hairy man and that we believe that uh, somehow or other the forest people are able to, I don't know, take over and, and see through the eyes of various animals. And we think they can do it through coyotes. Uh, they can actually do people. I, I had uh, a story where the, one of them actually came in and kind of took me over for a little bit. And there's a, a video about that over on Kevin's channel, and I'm going to reshoot that on this channel one of these days. But I kind of think that maybe the that skunk was probably uh, the forest people were playing a prank on us. They have a pretty good sense of humor, and they'll do some pretty outrageous things sometime. And they even kind of gave a hint that they were going to play a trick on us last night. And uh, But we didn't have anything, uh, nothing real dramatic. We were hoping, uh, this was Paul's first trip out with us, and we were kind of hoping that... Uh, 
that we could get him his aha moment. And we might still tonight. Uh, now we got to go home tomorrow. We're all leaving tomorrow. But we got one more night here. And so we'll see what happens tonight. But for right now, I'm going to turn you loose, let you go. And I'm going to tell you like I always do. Take care of each other. Love each other. It's a wonderful life. And we'll talk to you on the next one. So one more look at the creek so I can find the button. And I'll say peace out.